student i welcome you all for one more session of chemistry so dear student in the last class we have completed the quantum numbers unfortunately the power has gone so that's why i have stopped uh, for very uh, small class so dear student quantum number you remember the uh, these things right in the offline class i will go once again uh, about these quantum numbers why because these uh, these parts are very very important for your competitive examination and uh, on these quantum numbers how the competitively uh, competitively multiple choice questions will be there i will discuss in your uh, what <clears throat> offline classes you don't worry about that so you just remember the significances of all the four quantum numbers principal azimuthal right magnetic quantum number and spring quantum number say uh, they they all give us a very clear cut idea about the electron present in the orbit right so <clears throat> next is again a very important part of this chapter is nothing but electron filling rule electron filling rules so this part also i have already discussed during your right just uh, mm -hmm. Introduce uh, reduction parts, right? I mean, uh, in the beginning itself, we all had these all the three rules, right? So that means these electron filling rules explains us about how to fill the electron in a different different orbits. That means we already know according to Bohr theory, as the n value increases. the energy and size of the electron increases just now in the last class only we had about the principal quantum number right so <clears throat> each and every orbit has different energy levels you don't never and ever forget forget about the uh, for, forgot these points right don't forget these points why because these are very very important for you and the uh, and based on these more basic point only You will be having your competitive questions, right? So <clears throat> there are three rules. We will go one by one. We are you already know what are those three rules? First one is Afubov rule, right? Afubov rule. So what does this rule explains about the filling of electron? so according to this rule in the ground state of the atom the orbital are filled in a order their increasing energies or in ground state of atom electron c the statement of this is electron enters first into the lower energy orbit and then the electron enters into the higher energy orbit already i have explained right so what he uh, uh, suggested is nothing but a fubo according to him electron always prefer to go first into the lower energy orbit see i will show you one example 1s and 2s right <clears throat> according to him so one means nothing but n value you already now uh, after the quantum number you can very easily understand n is nothing but second that means if i show you in the diagram so this will be n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 yes and we are talking about s and s both 2s 1s right so now according to his rule electron first enter into the lower energy orbit and then uh, or the lower energy orbit then the electron enters into the higher energy orbit if i see say uh, uh, according to bohr as the n value increases the energy of electron will also goes on increases so that means according to him the electron first prefer to go uh, 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 among these two in which orbit of 1s or 2s definitely 1s why because One is having less n value than the two. Two is more, right? So that means, according to Bohr, as well as the principal quantum number, the n value as the n value increases, definitely what happens? The electron energy will also goes on increases. 
so that means according to his statement electron enter first into the lower energy orbit and then the electron enters into the higher energy orbit let us take uh, we uh, uh, we have three electrons then what happens here is nothing but first electron enters into the minus after completely filling of minus the electron will move to the second cell so that means we have only three so that's why the last electron will enter into the second cell that means 2s orbit right so electron first enters into the lower energy orbit <coughs> then the electron enters into the higher energy orbit right understood very simple concept and uh, uh, with the help of these all the four rules i mean three rules one we can understand where electron enters first right so then the difficulties comes right so till 3p there is, there is no problem for us to fill after 3p there is a difficulty right so for to overcome from that difficulty so we introduce one more rule so which is uh, which is uh, not important for your theory for your competitive level so here see n plus l rule there is a rule called as n plus l so what does this rule explains about right orbit in which electron enter first is called as lower energy orbit 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 in which electron enters first enters first is called lower energy orbit lower energy orbit right orbit in which electron enters first is called as lower energy orbit so there will be a question like uh, among see what i said we will be we, we can fill electron till 3p very easily after 3p uh, uh, some doubt will come right and you can uh, very easily see in the lower classes also you might have come across with this problem that means 3 after 3p we are not entering into the 4 uh, for uh, sorry 3d directly we are introducing 4s in between 3p and 3d right so why uh, that is uh, why we are doing like this that means see here it is just like a problem among 4s and 3d you can say problem only among 4s and sorry, and 3d among 4s and 3d which one has low n plus l value or else among 4s and 3d in which orbit electron enters first this this question already i have discussed in the basic classes right if you remember then it will be very easy for you guys right so to solve these type of problem we need to have a some little bit knowledge about the uh, things right so solution solution is like uh, like this so for 3d and 4s we are having doubt right so say this as a n l and n plus l value so these are the three uh, what things so that means see always remember uh, the, the number that means these are always the that means 3d means we are in the third cell third cell means n value will be always 3 only right understood and uh, we are here and here we are at the fourth cell so that means n value will be 4 now consider this as n and this as l remember in the last class l l for calculating l l is equal to n minus 1 right so remember so for yes i mean l for what d we need to check right so that means d means third cell third is nothing but c 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 right or else I will show you I will directly write and this is 0 
3 plus 5 and this is 4. So that's why before going into this orbit, the electron will enter first into 4s. Why? Because n plus l value of 4s is less than 3d. Then how to identify l value means? See, already I have given a hint about that in the basic classes. Then also, if you want, you can just remember this. So, n value, l value. Or S, P, D, and F. Right? So, S, right? L is nothing but n minus 1. You remember this. S is nothing but C. S will start from first cell itself. So, that's why n value of 1 will be enough to explain about the S. And P starts from second cell, not from the first cell. So, thus, its n value will be 2. And D will not occur in second as well as the first cell. D will occur at the third cell. So, that's why n value will be 3. And what about F? F will not, uh, uh, we, we won't see in the third cell or in the second cell, principal cell or in the first principal cell. We directly see the uh, F uh, in fourth cell. So, thus, so now just n value of s is zero, uh, 1 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 that means l value of s is see l value of s is 0 like this you just minus 1 l value uh, sorry l value of p is 1 likewise l value of d is 2 right and 4 minus 1 3 l value of f is 3 so that's why in case of d i i put 2 right so this is the case why uh, and this is very important right so now one more second one is Pauli's exclusive principle so Pauli's exclusive principle second one Pauli's exclusive principle or rule one we can say so what does it explains <clears throat> the statement of uh, Pauli's <coughs> exclusive principle is only two electron may exist in a in a same orbit and these electron must and should have opposite spin right very simple statement about Pauli's see <clears throat> only two electron may exist in the same orbit that means in an any orbit or in box always there will be a two electron not more than two right this is the this is his rule so now uh, whenever you write a orbital diagram you keep it in mind that one in one orbit we should put two electrons only with their opposite spin very important right so this is his uh, what statement in an orbit there may be an exist of two electron with their opposite spin this is his rule it will not be like this or else like this both the spin will not be same both the electron spin will not be same in an orbit their number will be two always in an orbit and with their opposite spin right so this is about what um, Pauli's principle right Pauli's exclusive principle once again I repeat uh, only two electron exist in the same orbit that means in the single orbit with uh, and these electron must have opposite spin and these electron must have opposite spin only two electron exist in a same orbit and must have their opposite spin right so this is all about the second Pauli's exclusive principle in the next class we will have a next rule that is Hunt's rule right thank you